Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers and this morning I'm looking at a book which has come from Edward Elgar Publishing. They're an independent family publishers and they do specialise in very high quality academic tomes, if I can use that word, uh, and information which is extremely helpful to lawyers, economists and, and in fact the general readership as well. This morning I'm looking at a book again which is covering Chinese uh, matters and it's the Renmin Chinese Law Review and they're selected papers from uh, The Jurist and it's volume one of this publication. It's been edited by uh, Jai Chung um, Shi and this is the actual book here. Uh, it's not a particularly big book, you can see the front cover there, that's the spine, and then there's a little bit of commentary on the back there. Jai Chung uh, Shi is editor-in-chief of, of The Jurist, which is a, a magazine, a journal, and he's professor of law at Renmin University of China, um, China Law School in China itself. This is the book. It's got a relatively small index, as you can see there at the back. Then you've got, uh, you go straight into the actual um, content itself. You do have chapter numbers and chapter headings, and then you have the paragraph numbering on the side, which is again very helpful. And there's a lot, of course, of footnotes which you can see there. It's extremely helpful to have this sort of information because the book itself, as usual, they have a nice little conclusion at the end of each of the chapters, which again I think helps. And you've also got um, substantial obviously contributions from because they're selected papers and that's the front of it there you can see there's some Chinese just to explain what it is a joint publication of the jurist and Edward Elgar publishing then you have the main contents uh, there and then there are a list of all the contributors it's quite helpful to see who's been involved in this and then of course it's always worth reading the preface so you've got some idea of what this is all about um, where they're going, uh, where, where they're actually coming from. And of course it then starts off with a whole range of, of very interesting uh, particular points. Now Elizabeth and I have written, my wife Elizabeth and I have written a review um, of this book and we've given it the title which is on the web and in the uh, journals A Window on Current Legal Research in China. As I've indicated Edward Elgar uh, do concentrate on academic work, which I think is extremely helpful for those involved in it. But like everything, it's worth knowing where things are and what you're actually specifically looking for. What we're saying about uh, the Chinese Law Review is as follows. With business having gone global and China a major trading partner of the UK, company lawyers as well as academics will be interested in this latest publication from Elgar. The book's a compilation of 14 articles researched and written by highly regarded Chinese academics from at least as many faculties of law at uh, Chinese, uh, China's major universities. It's a very big country, as I'm sure you know, and obviously it's got a very large number of people involved. It is the Renmin University of China Law School that edits and publishes The Jurist, it's the journal, from which these various chapters have been translated and reproduced in the book. These, as the editor um, Shi uh, Chai-jun reminds us, bring to the fore the latest updates in legal research, focusing on topical legal issues within China. Again, could be very important from the point of view of perspective of people looking for business opportunities there, especially from the West. Covering a number of different areas of law, the articles are a choice selection aimed at imparting to non-Chinese readers a general understanding of those issues considered of prime importance in China, including progress in legal research and the reality of the rule of law in China. The first article, which I indicated when I showed you the book, quite intriguingly discusses the word constitution in Western languages and refers by way of illustration to discussions on the subject by a wide range of legal philosophers and theorists from the ancient world, from Plato and Aristotle to Cicero, and that's how I'm pronouncing his name, and many more. There are many, um, any number of references to the concept of constitution in the preeminent Greek and Greco-Roman city-states, including Sparta and Athens. 
What an interesting perspective on matters constitutional, including the various comments on democracy. Subsequent essays in the book examine in detail such topics as the economised state, the changes in the Chinese legal system for implementing WTO laws, the nature of social harmony in contemporary China, illegal financing, credit assets securitization, described as a new financing mode for China via the credit system, and a new approach to analysing the subprime crisis is given here as well, which may be of interest. Um, in another essay, Judiciary um, Strategy for Historical Problems is examined in detail. In other words, problems relating to the evasion of law in China and the perceived lack of strict legal supervision. See, as you'd probably be well aware, there's a lot of issues of corruption and, of course, the capital penalty is uh, used on some occasions. They do kill an awful lot of people in China. Um, unfortunately, they still haven't become um, into the feeling that they shouldn't do that sort of thing, but they still do, unfortunately. Let me conclude by saying there is indeed much to contemplate in this book. Lawyers and academics, particularly those interested in legal theory and comparative law, will find its diversity of subject matter and opinion thought-provoking, to say the least, especially in view of China's increasing influence, to so say, in international politics or the world stage, whatever you want to call it. They are a big player, probably the biggest player, certainly after the, the Americans, so it's important to know what they're, they're doing. Note also the copious uh, footnoting which I've indicated earlier which is throughout the book and the useful index at the back. The publication date is given at 2013 so it's pretty new I'm recording this in May 2014 but as I say you can see from the book looking at it again you can see what's in it. Um, I do like some of the headlines they are as usual quite long headlines some of them but they are pretty good um, there again, you've got quite a lot of content. It's quite a lot, quite detailed actually for what it is. But again, I think it's very, very useful to know what they're doing. So can I thank all concerned for producing what is an excellent uh, contribution to this growing area of interest for the West, which is of course what the Chinese are doing. So thank you all very much indeed for assisting us in this area. Bye bye.